currently we are hearing a lot about this American NATO military campaign uh, in the town of Marja, where American forces claim that they have uh, been able to take control of that region and that uh, the Taliban and other resistance uh, forces have been uh, put on the defensive. Now, theoretically, this may be the case because uh, those who are fighting against the foreign occupation troops in Afghanistan do not have the heavy weapons to be able to confront American forces, whether on the ground or from the air. Americans have um, a lot of air force power, uh, helicopters, uh, uh, bombers, and other planes that they use against defenseless civilian populations, but that American gains or NATO gains in that area are in fact likely to be short-lived. What is more interesting to observe is that while this campaign was launched, just prior to that, both the Americans as well as the Afghan government once again appealed to the Taliban leadership to join them in a loya jirga or a grand assembly to try to settle their differences through negotiations. According to our information, secret negotiations are underway that are being facilitated both by the, the Pakistan intelligence agency ISI as well as the Saudi regime that has close links with the Taliban leadership. And the Taliban as well as the other resistance forces in Afghanistan, and the reason why we mentioned that other resistance forces are also involved is that not everybody fighting against the Americans are part of the Taliban. In fact, entire tribes are fighting against the foreigners because they do not wish to be ruled by foreign occupation troops, nor do they wish to submit to foreign occupation of their country. This is a tradition with the Afghans, and they are not likely to allow Americans or NATO forces to be on their soil for too long. So on the one hand, while the Americans are claiming that they have been uh, successful in their military campaign. On the other hand, there are secret negotiations going on with the Taliban leadership to try to bring them to the negotiating table and to resolve the, uh, the, the impasse, the military as well as political impasse in Afghanistan. It is interesting to note that American commanders, military commanders, have admitted that there is absolutely no military solution to the problem in Afghanistan. Now, when military commanders, including General Stanley McChrystal, who is supposed to be a very tough guy and who was, who had, who was sent to Afghanistan in order to sort out the Taliban and he was given 30,000 additional troops, if he talks in terms of saying that there is no military solution and that at the end of the military campaign there has to be negotiations, then that means that the Americans have accepted military defeat in Afghanistan. There have been other reports that indicate that at least 97% of the country now is in the, in the grip of the insurgency. That insurgency has spread to all these parts. That the Kabul regime's writ does not extend to even all parts of Kabul, much less to the rest of the country. So the country has become more ungovernable, it has become more lawless, it has become more unstable, there is more poverty, there is more corruption, there is more suffering for the Afghan people. And the sooner the foreign troops leave, the sooner there will be peace in that war-ravaged country that has seen nothing but war for the last 30 years. And we believe that this end game for America's involvement in Afghanistan is coming to an end. What the Americans are really looking for is to arrive at some kind of an understanding so that they can continue to maintain their forces in Afghanistan under an agreement so that the Americans can then build a a gas and oil pipeline from Central Asia to uh, pump that oil from Turkmenistan uh, through Afghanistan's Kandahar region, bring it to Pakistan and then out to the West. This is ultimately the American objective and this, this has now been started to be admitted by the American commentators as well. But what we are beginning to see is the end game in Afghanistan and the defeat of the US forces in a convincing way. All they are looking for is a face-saving formula so that they can tell their own people that America has not been defeated. Whereas America has suffered a massive defeat, a superpower has been brought to its knees by these ragtag bands of people fighting in Afghanistan, and Afghanistani, Afghanistan's people have once again demonstrated that they are not going to accept foreigners in their land, and they are going to sort their own problems according to their own way.